My mind keeps going blank. It's like my script's just gone out the window. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Cal, and basically today I thought for my second video that I could do a come study with me. I thought it'd be a great idea because I can show revision skills that I use. I also use them through high school and college. I'm gonna cut this video up into note taking, revision tips, techniques that I use that I personally find helpful, and finally, how to maintain and keep up with your revision. It's really helpful to create a schedule for yourself, make sure that you're organized, and make it easy for yourself to make a commitment to your notes because it's really good to go back check that you still have your core knowledge and stuff like that so i'm going to start with note taking basically how i take notes throughout a lecture works the same as high school college if you're listening to a teacher lecturer or a professor who's guiding you through a lesson it's great to target specific types of note taking so i have a very compact note taking and it's good to find like a good technique for taking notes because it gets quite difficult when someone's talking fast and you feel like you're missing information. I'm quite lucky in the fact that my lecturers and professors keep a note bank. They have notes to go alongside their lectures so I can have them open whilst I'm doing it. So my tips for note taking would be to be um, accurate and focus on how your professor slash teacher is talking and they usually highlight key knowledge within what they're saying. So if you're too busy looking at maybe the board behind them or a um, screen, you could miss a key piece of information or factoid that they actually don't have in their notes. They just have it from their memory. Write as much as you can. Your first set of notes do not have to be pretty. I hate having ugly notes. Sometimes I read my own notes and I have no idea what I was talking about, which isn't great. Always have a rough, ugly pair of notes first off all black pen no sort of pretty title underlining i scribble everything i can learn anything and everything that i think would be key information i will look at my notes afterwards and basically decipher through have a look at what's actually important what you're supposed to keep and how to separate into sections make subtitles stuff like that so i always take an ugly set of notes and then create a nice set of notes so I keep the ugly set of notes just in case I need a reference to my old notes and what they actually said on the day. Maybe I missed a piece of information. I just don't want to get rid of it. So here's a cool little time lapse of me taking my notes this morning. I basically put the title obviously at the top and then I use little arrows as a like flowing tools basically i'm just jotting down everything the lecturer is saying here i'm not actually copying his notes i'm just getting every piece of information that i think is key circling things as i go and then on this next clip i am making the nice set of notes so i'm using a red pen to highlight key information make subtitles and highlight my keywords and stuff like that so i'm making like little lists little diagrams these will be the notes that I actually put in my file that I go back to look at so I fully understand them because honestly I only understand those rough notes because I've just made them. I probably would look at them now whilst editing and have no idea what I meant so it's always good to make your notes into nice ones as soon as you can. Bringing us to section two. So section two is revision techniques and tips that I use and find helpful. I've also looked, watched a lot of videos on YouTube to help me, but I use three techniques. I tend to use flashcards, mind maps, and wall notes. I commonly won't use all three techniques in one set of notes. I will usually see which one suits it the best, and I'm gonna help you guys find out which one would suit you because these techniques won't work for every subject. These techniques may be used differently, say in a English course or a maths course or a, a science course. So you guys can use these techniques differently because they won't work for every single course. We're gonna start with flashcards. So here are the flashcards. I decided to do them digitally because it would be easier to see. Apologies for my uh, scruffy handwriting, but I decided to make the flashcards on the notes that I just did, which was types of muscles. So as you can see, I have my three 
questions on the front page and I have my answers on the next page. This is so if you're using them by yourself, you can check that you put the answers right, but I prefer to let someone quiz me whilst I'm revising. I find it more rewarding to get the answer right and it kind of makes it into a little competition for yourself to remember the information. Next up would be mind maps. So similar to flashcards, this is just a summary of the information on your note sheet. Mind maps are basically visual aids whilst revising. So you have all of your key information split up into sections. So I have the function of muscles, I have the types, I have the histology, and I also have a very important fact to remember. So a mind map is made so that as soon as you look at it, you are easily able to recite the information. So if I stare at this for long enough, I'm looking at three types and I have short snippets of answers. Like I just have the keyword skeletal and cardiac and smooth, but I also have images like the skull and the heart and the little the ooh so i'm reminded that one is skeletal one is cardiac and the other is smooth so as for the other sections it's a little bit harder to use images so i've just used a line or a fact finally i'm going to show you guys the wall notes which isn't exactly a popular revision technique but i'm going to show you how i actually laughed at the idea when i found out about it but it's really good like it's such a good technique because i'm just going to show you guys instead of talking about it because it's really really easy to show hard to explain Okay, so for some reason my camera decided to mess up on this uh, excellent footage of me walking around my room looking at notes that I've placed on the wall. So apologies for the bad quality in this video, I had to put a really weird filter on it in iMovie so that you could actually see it. I think it's because I was recording with like HDR or something on my camera, I have no idea but this is why it just looks all purple. So wall notes is basically what it says on the tin. It's notes that you put on the wall. So it's like little snippets of information for you to recall in your head that can like trigger a fact or a memory. This technique only works when you place the notes in effective locations in your room. So by that, I mean places you walk past and see on a regular basis. So I've placed one here, you can see on the video, as I walk down my stairs. So I obviously see this every time I leave my room. And then on the second video, I've placed those notes as I enter my room. So then again, next to the light switch, somewhere you always see. This is a great technique because in an exam you will be required to recite information and studies have shown that when you are in an exam you can remember the location that you've been looking at in your room and this brings information flooding back because you can use it as sort of a visual aid in a way. So for my final section I'm going to be talking about how to keep up with study and how to make a schedule for yourself so that you don't feel pressured, you feel organised and it really isn't that difficult. You don't have to do revision every single day, you don't have to pressure yourself as long as you split it up, you have little breaks, it's absolutely fine. During the week I have uni every day apart from Wednesday. Wednesday I usually keep as a day to revise so I section up my Wednesday slots into revision timetables so I know when to revise, when to have a break, stuff like that but I also have little revision slots after the other days in the week. I do keep my weekend uh, free because I usually like a break and I also have a part-time job like you might have a hobby, you might have a part-time job, you might have uh, tasks that you do, you might have a uh, another course that you do maybe you just need to find a way and balance your time efficiently so it's also important to schedule social events so unfortunately with it being lockdown we can't actually go outside do stuff like that but it is important to schedule say zoom calls with your friends stuff like that zoom calls with family i know i do that because i'm at uni in this house i don't actually live at home I also uh, like to game. It's always important to come away from your notes and then come back to them, let's say in a week's time and test that knowledge that you have. You're just basically building up your core knowledge in your head, making sure you can retain the information and then repeat it when it comes to exam time. So that concludes my video today. I hope you've enjoyed the come study with me. I'm sorry if there's been background noise or camera issues. I'm still new to this as it's only my second video, but I'm really happy how my first video turned out and I'm glad that I now have four subscribers. However, 
if this does um, get me on the map, maybe in the study section. I hope you guys uh, stick around for more videos. I'm hoping to upload every weekend. So if you guys are up for weekly videos from me, if you've enjoyed the video today, I hope you subscribe and uh, drop me a like down below. I'm not quite sure what my uh, video style is. If you guys have any ideas, if you wanna comment down below, I could try them out, maybe reaction videos. If you'd like to see me play any games, I was thinking of maybe playing Minecraft. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.